The official Samsung LED wallet is a multifunctional case that lets you store cards or ID on the inside and shows you LED notifications on the outside. If you are interested in buying this case, link is available in the description below. You'll be able to see notifications of incoming calls, messages, the current time, and more by simply pressing the power button with the cover closed. A shell case holds the phone in place, and the soft fabric exterior feels great. One of the most expensive cases I've ever reviewed, this is also one of the most functional, from a tech perspective. Taking power wirelessly from the phone, a matrix of small LEDs in the cover of this folio case, light up with timer notifications, as needed, in a retro dot matrix fashion. It's a little stylized, but I can see this appealing to anyone wanting a folio style case in terms of protection, and yet large and easy access to seeing the time. The time isn't always on, since that would require too much power, but it appears instead when you press the phone's power button. It's pretty cool, as is the huge range of LED emoticons, configured through a standalone app that gets installed when you put the case on. The idea is that you set up specific emoticons for specific app notifications or, more probably, different contacts. So one face indicates your partner, when your parents, and so on. All rather clever, even if Samsung's other design, the clear view, with translucent side panel, is possibly more elegant. In use as a folio case, I was impressed. There's recessed storage for a card the recess bit is important, as it means that the folio flap can completely form fit to the phone's front. This means in turn that the cased phone is much sleeker and thinner than your average folio. The Ultra is a large phone, and the LED cover makes it larger still, but the combination of external display and attention to design details impressed me enormously. I have mixed feelings about this case. On one hand, it protects the screen of the phone, and the flappy cover has a useful credit card size slot on the inside. The outer material feels a bit like fabric, but it's probably just textured plastic. On the other, the cover gets in the way when I'm taking photos, and I'm not convinced that it will stay closed if I accidentally drop the phone. Still, this is one of the few Galaxy S21 wallet cases you can find, if that's your thing. The flappy cover has an LED matrix in it on the outside, so you get visual alerts for incoming calls. It also tells the time and displays an animation when there's music playing. You don't see the name of the caller, but you can assign a specific icon to a specific contact. You can also create custom icons which can be a contact's name or initials. You can pick up or decline the call with a swipe, without having to lift the cover. One thing I don't like about the LEDs is that numbers aren't designed well. The numbers 3, 6, and 9 can be interpreted as an 8 if you aren't paying close attention. Samsung's other folio option is different in that it doesn't just let light from the always-on display pass through the lid, but the lid itself displays information via built-in LEDs. As a folio, the LED wallet cover suffers from the same issues as the S-View Flip, like no mechanism to keep the lid in the closed position, and buttons that lose their tactility. The other problem, which is more unique to this case, is that it takes your slim and light S21 and transforms it into a thick and bulky phone, which you can no longer tell the make of. The key feature here is the LED display, which can show you the current time and also display different icons, depending on who calls you or which app delivers a notification. You can choose from a predefined set of icons, but you can also draw your own. You can't get too wild with the designs, because the resolution is really low. Not enough LEDs in there. The troubles with the LED wallet case don't end there, unfortunately. As you flip the lid all the way to the back, which is what you do when you want to use a phone that's in a folio case, the lid turns out to be too wide, so it makes the phone really inconvenient to hold and use. But if you have used flip cases, then this might not be the problem for you, 